Now, the northeast coast of Mexico is bracing itself for the arrival of Hurricane Delta. It's a Category 4 storm expected to be the biggest to hit the country since Hurricane Wilma back in 2005. Then it's forecast to move across the Gulf of Mexico before hitting the United States. Paul Hawkins has this. Boarding up and stocking up. Cancun City on the Yucatan Peninsula is on high alert for Hurricane Delta, the 26th named storm of an unusually active Atlantic hurricane season. The locals here have been told to have enough food and water for three days. Any way the wind blows, it's guaranteed to be powerful, with rain and winds of 225 kilometers an hour on the way. Se ha dado la instrucción de que se movilicen Instructions have been given to mobilize 5,000 officials to the peninsula, to Yucatan and Quintana Roo, with all the necessary equipment to protect the population. We're going to be on alert and hopefully the hurricane will lose strength or change its path, but we're on it. Cancun is famed for its nightlife and beach resorts. Tourism is its lifeblood. But the pandemic has hit the economy here hard. 40,000 tourists, a fraction of the usual number, are being evacuated from the coast. The measure that is being taken in the hotel is to evacuate everyone as a precaution. Those who didn't manage to make changes to their flights all have to go directly to the shelter to protect themselves. It's our first hurricane. We're scared. Although we've been living in Cancun for five years, it's our first hurricane. And the truth is that we are very nervous. With the storm surge of two to three meters in places forecast, boats have been secured or even better pulled from the water. The storm strengthening over the Caribbean Sea by 137 kilometers an hour in just 24 hours. The fastest rate of intensification since Hurricane Wilma in 2005, the last major storm to hit the Mexican coast. Back then, it took the economy six months to recover, which is why this time the officials here are taking it so seriously. After Mexico, Delta will strengthen over the Gulf of Mexico, its warm waters feeding the winds before it weakens a little and then slams into Louisiana on Friday. Paul Hawkins, BBC News.